Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Guys, today it is finally time to play the Ice Ferret. I've been uh, not using that thing so much because my initial experience with the Ice Ferret was garbage. And uh, since all of you wanted me to play it in Ice Ferret, maybe not all of you, but a lot of you, Today is the day where we're gonna test the Ice Ferret on the battlefield. The Ice Ferret is a very weird mech. It has great mobility when it comes to uh, upper torso twist and all of that. It has actually decent hitboxes and uh, it is a 45 ton clan mech that um, is a bit limited on its weapon options. But hey, let's take a look at what we are doing today. As you can see, we are taking the Rainbow Crow. This is the hero mech that also brings an ECM to the table. That's super valuable when you want to do what I want to do today because you can backstab the enemy with five heavy medium lasers. Yes, again, it is a 45 tonner with um, a super upsized engine. It basically plays like a light mech and you should really treat it as such. We have the five heavy mediums because they don't uh, take up so much of our very limited spare weight and uh, yeah, that's it. So 50 damage alpha strike. You can alpha strike once and then you will be at about 80% heat because we have a heat limitation on the heavy lasers. Firing more than four at the same time will give you a huge heat spike. So if you really, really, really want to initiate a fight with the 50 damage to a single component with the enemy not aware of your position, you can do it. However, I would advise you in a more dynamic combat to just shoot either four at a time by shooting only the arms and then following up with the, with the right torso uh, hard point, or you go for a right left punch and uh, that manages to um, not get into those ghost heat things. We also have three double heat sinks and a clan light active probe here. The clan -like, act like active probe I only have because I had some spare weight. If you don't necessarily need it, it gives you some range, uh, targeting range and targeting time boost, uh, nothing more than that. Uh, it, it's nice to have. If you don't like it, drop it, uh, get some more armor on the legs and on the head. Uh, I've just dropped that down so that I could um, invest into half a ton of equipment here. That's the idea. Let's take a look at the skills. And as you might tell, guys, this thing is not mastered yet. We have 70 out of 91 skill points unlocked. And honestly, this is the firepower tree, how I would build it. Uh, maybe with the cooldown down here. Uh, maybe even with this here. Okay, so this would be the firepower tree. Um, it is the heat gen nodes. You really, really need that because the heavy lasers are quite toasty. And then laser duration. That's quite a no-brainer because they also have a very long duration. And getting that down to a little bit lower makes absolute sense. We have now, what is that, 25 points uh, sorry, 15 points left over that I would probably invest into a bit more armor. It doesn't make so much difference, but it is something. What's actually quite good is the uh, speed tweak here because that makes the mech relatively fast. It makes it really fast actually. We have again a very very oversized engine for that 45 tonner and uh, it's it has a very good base speed already and amplifying that with the speed tweak definitely makes sense. What I also have is of course the enhanced ECM system and that's actually a thing that you should invest into first because otherwise you will be uh, able to get targeted by everybody it mid-range. You really want to have that um, that ECM target range reduction of a uh, total of, what is that, 45%. It's really, really good. I also have a seismic sensor, actually both here, and then uh, the value point in the consumable slot. What you could also consider instead of armor is maybe heat management. You can go for something like this and you are all set. Probably, uh, maybe even the heat uh, heat containment. I think this is how I would roll this. Just heat containment and three points of cool run and then you have 91 out of 91. If you like, you could also go for the maximum cool run, but then uh, you had to take on those three here. So you have some variations here. I think this is better going for more DPS because you are not, hopefully, not uh, targeted and hit anyway because uh, you have ECM and good mobility to find your spot within the team. So go for more offensive power if you like or go for more armor if you like that. But that's the build, everybody. And I wish you a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Canyon Network. We are playing um, skirmish. How interesting. Uh, in skirmish mode, the enemy start on the Delta 3 edge. As you can see, we have a Stormcrow already and I want to go ahead and uh, harass him a little bit. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We have an Alpha Strike of 50. 50 is not great, but it is probably enough to open him up. I'm going to help you with the Stormcrow. Yeah, I'm coming. Stay here, Spidey. Stay here. Let's go. Let's do it together. 
Uh, we need to be aware of the enemies that might be coming. I shouldn't have Alpha struck there. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Um, that's an Ultra 20, by the way. Hello. Hello, Waka. He sees me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not Alpha striking. Why? Because I am pretty hot now. And I don't want to be hot. I want to cool down again. Or maybe it was the exact thing that we needed to do. Uh, okay. Woohoo! This is interesting, guys. This is super interesting. Let's have some fun squirreling around and skirmishing with those people. Uh, this guy, just targets of opportunity at the moment. The Stormcrow, Stormcrow in the bottom. And the Bushwalker. Let's go for the Stormcrow first. And we are out of here. We are so out of here. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Uh, they have a Waka and a Stormcrow in the basement here, in the bottom, in Charlie 3. Lots of enemies in Charlie 3. Ow! What? Yeah, I was... I was showing my beautiful, beautiful back to those guys, which is obviously not a good thing to do. Uh, let's go in uh, again. Let's do it. I cannot get up here. No, it's not possible. Uh, instead, you know what? That is a medium pulse spider. Sadly, my damage splashed against the spider so much. It's my friend. Not my friend. This is an unfriendly spider. Ah, come on. Man, this thing has armor. A lot of it. Good thing is that I'm not the center of their attention. And we have the bushwhacker there. Good. What a fight in the outskirts here, guys. What a hell of a fight. I think I want to shoot the spider a bit more. I spied it. Got that guy, finally. All right. Meep, meep, Mr. Spider. That's what we do here. All right. I need to be very well aware of the enemies behind me, if there are any. Okay, that was good. That guy was legged just in the right three. moment. Center, center. Center, center. Quickly, come on, guys. What was that? E3? Echo 3? Something with big guns. I think, uh, gas coming. I gonna handle it. Okay, let's go! Big guns in Echo 3. That's what we do now. Um, Echo 3. You say that there is a sniper or something sitting here? Let's see. I don't see anybody in Echo 3. Okay, because I felt shot coming from that way, but who you knows? Uh, you sure about that? Nah, he dropped. He, 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 he's gone. There's nobody here. Okay, cool. Now, that we know that, we can go back to the center and have some fun. So, it's, it's always good if you are a fast mover and there is a call for a sniper or something with big guns in the outskirts that needs to be harassed so that your team has some room to breathe in the center of the map. Go ahead and do it. That's not me. Uh, 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 not my target. Not my, not my fight that I want to seek there. Uh, we have seven and two. Mm, building up a firing line. Team killing each other, even. Uh, is this the throw? Let's be very aggressive against this guy. Go for the Marauder, he's one shot Charlie. I think I'm still... Nah, okay, let's go to this guy. Uh, Madcap Mark 2 shut down. Kill him, punish him! Is he still aware? Give me that side also of yours. And your center, just on top of that. And I'm shutting down. Gotta be careful with my positioning. Again, the back needs to be protected. What's that? Thunderbolt. Okay, this guy has a very open side torso as well. Uh, now he's down. Is he? Center torso critical. I shouldn't hug him so much. Nah. Alright. So, one more guy, which is uh, down below here. It's a Foxtrot dude. And we got him finally. This Night Star got some good damage on my back there. Man, I'm super happy that we survived this. I also almost killed ourselves because. Yeet. But we didn't. And that's the important thing. We did not. Cool skirmish. I like that we uh, fought in a different spot this time. And we had one killing blow, nine assists and 485 damage done with one kill most damage dealt and six components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Crimson Strait. We are playing, what is that, Assault here? Oh, Assault. Interesting. And I think I want to go over to the water. We are playing at night, by the way, which makes it actually quite hard for the enemies to see me when I am pushing the water line. I don't know if it's good. I really want to backstab somebody, but it's, uh, it's risky and uh, we're gonna do it now. So, let's try. I don't know. Again, it, it might be something. It might be nothing. Uh, we might die. But... We are doing it anyway, because I want to get something done and I also want to give you some entertaining content. So let's do the stuff that is a little bit risky. I mean, we see everybody, right? This is where they are. And uh, since the darkness, they don't see me in return. Okay, we can actually spot everybody here. 
Ace is being captured, that's not good. Uh, by spotting, you can see the scouting bonus down below over the minimap. You get 3,000 C bills if you are the first to spot the enemy, if you're the first to target the enemy in a game. And at this point, I think we should be behind everybody. I just want to make sure. All right, there we go. Now, let's go to heat man uh, night vision. Heat management. Now, night vision. That's what I wanted to do here. We could go for the lags on the Waka, and I think, in fact, that's what I want to do. Uh, actually. Is that guy heavy gals? No, it's ultras. Okay, we open him up. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he saw me. That's good. The Fafnir is caught in the back, guys. Hotel is one shot in the back. Maybe we can actually kill him. Hi. Ah, he's aware. Very smart. Very smart. And I think now I have to actually disengage from this. Because... Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another chance. Got him! Oh my god! The backstabs! <laughs> Guys, we really need to get back to base if we want to win this. Let's push over to the base. Okay, next up is gonna be the rifleman, I believe. Yeah, he's not he's not um he's not uh, he's not having any friends. Alright, opened him up. The rifleman is one shot echo. Oh yeah, missiles. That's really good. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Actually, no, let's go. Is he XL? Probably not. Probably gonna drop. Yeah, down he goes. Kill the rifleman, he's one shot Echo in the back. And here we go. Let's do it. Let's get in his back. Uh, completely, completely waste that shot. Hi. I don't want you to shoot me. Give me that arm. Okay. And now we kill. Nice twist, I have to say. Got him anyway. It's two and two. Uh, this is an MRM Griffin, so we're gonna park our mech here for a second. Roughneck, please. Roughneck Charlie. Getting that guy down. Can we meep him? No. Somebody else meeped him. Uh, it's three and three at this point. I'm gonna... Wait. Uh, that's bad. Oh my god, I'm within the enemy team. Hello? Leave me! Leave me! I'm your friend! No, I'm not. I know. Uh, I really hope that my team could do something with that distraction, because I took way too much damage. I didn't think that everybody would disengage to that spot. Okay, let's go from here. And at the same time, the twist, which is horrible. Ah, we can alpha strike now. We lost the laser, so I should probably do that. Mm-hmm. Go in here again. Go for the legs on the Waka, and then we disengage. Hopefully not getting hit. Base is being captured again. Or steal, actually. Go for the blackjack, guys. Blackjack. I really need to go to base after we got the blackjack. Blackjack, please. One shot. Golf. Guys, come on. Focus a bit. Hello. Got him. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go back to... No, wait. Actually, you have that in the base, right? You got this covered. Ah, uh, not good. Do you have this covered? I am not entirely sure if my team has that in the back down there. It doesn't look like it. There's an atlas, by the way. What's the Atlas's status? Right side on the Atlas. Yeah, it seems that they need help. Okay, I'm going back to base. I'm coming, guys. I really have to go in now, because otherwise we will just die. Shoot the guys at the at the base, guys. Just shoot them. Yeah, base is being captured. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we keep him shot, then that's fine, and that's okay. Uh, it's an AC-20 Atlas. We have two Atlases at the base, guys. Be quick about the kills. On the ramp, please. Oh, this is not great. Yes, an Atlas, right? Where's the other? Wait, we had two of them. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Is this how you want to win, guys? Is this how the enemies want to win? Ah, uh, it's two of them. And that's my arm. Damn, I'm down to two lasers now. But we have to keep shooting them. Ah, this is Cyrus' is legged. Guys, come on, please go to base. We need you. Uh huh. Come on, please. As long as I'm shooting him, he cannot decap or he cannot cap. Oh, uh, no, that's another laser down. I need help, guys. Where are you? I really need help at the base. Come on, guys. Otherwise, we are losing. Do it now. I cannot believe this. Osiris is gonna kill me, by the way. Guys, please, back to base! What are you doing? This is the only thing how I can prevent this from happening. By going into the base. 
it wasn't enough this time. Ah, oh, so annoying. I thought we were having it, guys. I thought it was in the bag already when we got the first kill on the Fafnir. Ah, oh, what was happening? Ah, oh, sucks so hard. Sorry. I'm not blaming anybody. It's just I'm just disappointed that we didn't win the game because we actually had the means to do it. Something happened here. I don't know. We will see. Um, we have three killing blows. We have four assists. Three kill most damage dealt. 623 damage done. And that's your daily dose for today. You win some, you lose some. Oh, man. I was just so enthusiastic about winning the game here. Um, it was very tense, I gotta say. It wasn't enough this time, though. Anyhow, that's the Rainbow Crow. That's the Ice Ferret. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.